Once again, I want to open this up by saying mahalo, mahalo for uh, being here. You know, when we decided we wanted to create uh, a gathering, and it just so happened the weekend we chose was also the same weekend as Kamehameha's uh, honoring and holiday. And I said, you know, we're not going to fight tradition. They get parades, they get reunions. So we're going to do them on the back end of the weekend, on the Sunday. So I call this Ali'i Sunday. And we honor Kamehameha. So we will be marching from the Queen through the federal court. We'll come back to Kamehameha and back to the grounds. But in this process of uh, just trying to uh, ask for permission, to use this ground those who say uh, the DLNR you gotta get one permit for the ground you gotta get a permit for the gazebo you gotta get a permit for electricity so we can put in power you gotta get permits so we can turn on the water pipe so we can wash our hands as we cook kalo for you because we get male eye for you we need a permit to uh, be able to park the cars interesting system but anyways uh, one of my primary questions in the permit was who is the kahu of this apu and no one in that DLNR office could answer me that the only way and I said that's not right because every kahu every ahu should have a kahu or a caretaker and so it put me on a quest to find out who would build this ahu. And through many phone calls, I finally found someone who returned my call. And uh, they said, we built the ahu. We built it in the middle of the night, back in 1993, during the apology era. But without me telling you the story, I want to hand the story over to these two gentlemen who were present that night. Yeah? They want to uh, have them introduce themselves and tell their mo'olelo and their story of that evening and why we here today. I was one of many here that day that they built this hour to witness to move the pohaku while many others went out and gathered and brought pohaku from all over uh, Oahu because we ran out of pohaku. So there's many other brothers that are not here. Yeah, plenty of them went hala already. Brothers, sisters, aunties and uncles. And we was just blessed to be here fighting for our rights to assert these kinds of things. It's our kuleana to put our ahu, our 
circumcise any place we feel is deemed for us, not to please anybody else but us. And that's why we came with positive intention to unite our people as one Ohana, seeing all the people suffering all over the Mokoaina. This was the intention of uniting Lokai, all our people, from Kauai to Moko Keawe. I was blessed to be here as one of the Kamalis at that time, along with a lot of more other guys. Another one is brought here, Palikapo from South Point Tau. What a Pali. Uh, 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 we all carried here 20,000 Hawaiians on the, the anniversary of the 100th year overthrow. And during that time, OHA and a lot of the established Hawaiian organizations had a play doing the reenactment of the overthrow of the Queen. So you had all organizations that all participated at that time with their perspectives and bringing it all to the palace. So you had organizations coming from the harbor where the Marines came. You had another one coming from Ala Park marching this way and from the mausoleum marching down. But what was left out of all of that was the Makai Nana, the common people, our people, who I understand from Kauai to Big Island. So we organized around all of these activities to bring up Puhaku from your Aina, from your home, that meant something to you, because we're going to build an Ahu. We're going to build something sacred and spiritual which we believe is like an eye root, the main source of our existence, our spirituality. We were told we could not direct this Ahu because of no permits, historical landmark, and of course you had friends of Iolani Palace and all the Ali gathered around to say that we could not erect this Ahu. We did this out of a spiritual understanding. So at 12 o'clock at night, when nobody was around, we erected it. By morning it stood. It was part of the ceremony. And we blessed it. And it's still here today. And nothing else is still here. Yeah. The people are here. The state didn't take it down. Oha wouldn't support it. They wouldn't take it down. Friends of Iolani Palace and a whole group of Ali Society people I had to talk to in the armory room, telling me I had no right. And I told them, this is the people's right. And if you get the power, then you tear it down. So from 1993, this is still here. And I ask myself, why wouldn't Ali put this here before me? So this was a time of healing that recommend, I mean, understand who we are as Makainana. We still live with the Lepo. We still live with the Kai and the mountains. But we suffer today from our social situation with the fastest dying race in the state, with the highest in all social problems and predicaments, and yet we only five in the census of Hawaii. So what? Is somebody looking out for us? I don't think so. We cannot be the host, the most welcome people, and be the most highest in social statistics. There is a neglect among the leaders in not doing the responsibility to take care of the Makarana. They're threatened. They're what's supposed to. That's why they became who they are. They have a mission. Our Ali's did not create their trusts to take care of themselves. They're supposed to take care of people. They did. That's why we're in a social predicament. I don't think so. We would have been the best people if they did. We're the richest people if they do. You're wrong. They were so 
um, indoctrinated into the Western thinking because that's all we see around us, okay? So we were really brainwashed. So it's the neighbor islands that took the stand, but we came to honor and to see. And tell me, let me set the, it's night. The only light were the torches, no electricity, right? It's the Nakoa who are here in their regalia, which is their malu, I, was that the night? It was. Okay. So that the Nakoa, if you don't know, are the Lua people, okay? They stood everywhere, period. and in fact, didn't they form the barrier? There was that many of them, and there were all of us behind them, and there were seats for Kupuna, okay, to observe. And I remember, I was so in awe that a ceremony as traditional as this could be held in 1993 on Oahu, okay, with respect. And I cried because every pohaku was given in the name of one of the activists, I, that have uhala. And they called out each name as they put the pohaku down from each island. So it is not all Oahu, like how everything is stacked for Oahu to win the votes. The neighbor islands brought in the Pohaku, as well as Nana Kuai and I, Tani Ohe. Yeah. Okay. So I'm saying that it is, it is truly our people, the Maka'ai Nana, and with, with respect, the mana from this is powerful. Aloha. Aloha. to rebuild it because my sister is here. Her ashes was laid here by a secret Hawaiian society that I never knew about. My family is also there. This is why you always see me come to this place to bring Hokupu to my sister. When I go around the island to vi visit my family graves, this is one of them that I come to all the time. And I've just heard that they want to tear this down. Someone from Kamehameha School is recommending that it be torn down. I say, Aole. They will not take this down. Now we come here in peace. We're going to leave here in peace. And that was the chant that I just chanted. Hawaiians, whenever they go somewhere, they always use that chant before they enter and when they leave. You're coming in peace. You also will leave in peace. Thank you all very much for your struggle and your fight for our country, for our kingdom. And please continue, never give up. Mahalo. I'm 
Here, we're here for one cause, and that's for each other. The sisters and your brothers on the left and the right of you. We all get our differences. We all whatever. We don't need that over here. Okay? Put in, we stand as one. Whatever you believe in, that's your belief. I. 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 So today, when we leave here on these blocks, we gotta be porno. Like I told Uncle Dan, we cannot leave here how this thing happened earlier ago. 
Aole. We're here for one, as one, because this is our palace. And we're fighting together as one. That kind of Billy Kier earlier, making the Howlings say, that's what I thought. The Hawaiians cannot get along, and one Hawaiian cannot see one other Hawaiian above the next Hawaiian. So when we walk out of here, we do the march, everybody gotta be porno, cause we all one. Right. Keep your belief to yourself for today. Aye! Aye! Okay, let's go. Okay, we're gonna be marching soon, so let me uh, get a head start. We can see people marching toward us. 